So I'm not the guy that's saying don't do it. I'm just saying the guy, understand what you're doing. And if you're doing it for the benefit to look great, uh -huh. it's like they, they said, oh, you'll lose your endorsement. Hey, Whitney Reed, I'm on so much gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on so much shit. It's like, yeah. that doesn't do anything. Yeah. Because they know who I am. And they've known who I am for the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. But to say that you're on the gas or on the gas, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Everybody, if you got low testosterone, I think you should be on something. If you're a guy and you're walking around with 250 test level, well, you should be healthy. on something. Yeah, that's unhealthy. So I'm not the guy that's saying don't do it. I'm just saying the guy, understand what you're doing. And if you're doing it for the benefit to look great, uh -huh. it's the wrong reason to do it. If you're doing it to be healthy, do it. I think we should segue into these duck eggs real <laughs> quick. Though, real quick. I, <laughs> agree or no agree? Do you guys disagree? I agree. I agree. I agree. And there's one thing I was going to mention. I mentioned that Kenny KO video because the, all the things you just said right now, um, the video was when Kenny was saying, oh, but as you get older, your test goes down. And you immediately said, no, it doesn't. Right. No, it doesn't. And what that showed is like most guys in their mind, they're like, yeah, when I get in my 30s, my 40s, my test is going to go down. And we literally just did a podcast with this guy, Dan Garner, and he talked about how literally your mindset, your belief systems, oh, and obviously your habits wow. can, affect, him. can affect your hormones. Yeah. If you believe that's going to happen to Wait you. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stress will lower it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the belief of something too heavy for you? The three, the three plates on bench? Can't get past it. Three plates is too heavy. It's three plates. There's the mind just destroys you. Mm -hmm. And I wish that maybe that's one of the benefits I had is that my mind went the other way every single time. Can I can I be stronger than Jeff Magruder on the bench press and look better? Yep. Apparently not. <laughs> can I lift more than Doug Furness and look better? You can't Apparently be Apparently not. You can't be strong when you're getting leaner. You can't be you strong can't, when you're fasting. But, but hey. Let's try. Where's the try in this? Listen, in this? everybody's talking because they've never seen someone like you. You have all the qualities. I think John Cena's doing it. But he is. I think but John Cena's doing exactly looking. what he is. not John, as good looking as you are. John, okay. you're good looking. Okay. I kiss you. <laughs> you're good looking. No, John, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but look at this. What, a, what, a City, what, is, what has C.T. Fletcher said, right? When he saw you walking in back oh, in the he day. he hated me. Can I use the F word? Yes. Yeah, he said, fuck Michael Hearn. You know why? <laughs> because he was strong. He came and he goes, this motherfucker going to come here and take the girls. He's strong. Mm -hmm. He's good looking. He's got it all. I hate him. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. And now he's like, all those years that my mind was thinking like that. This was like five years ago when we did the stuff with him. He was like, I don't know why I wasted those years being jealous he doesn't even know what he was he just didn't like the fact that he came in there good looking and he thought oh he's a pussy he's gonna i'm gonna smoke him and then mike goes in oh, and then he lilith wins everybody. Best lifter. Yeah. so like oh. you know like you just don't know and people do not well guys do not like to see that and i don't know why if i see a good looking girl and she's hot i compliment her mm -hmm. i'm like wow she's hot honey look she looks good. <laughs> but you then later I mean? on you say, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think you guys are right that you guys you guys but get yeah. the luxury to have those mindsets around you. Mm -hmm. And all I was trying to do without even knowing it was trying to talk to these kids going, there's challenges. Life's not easy. It's not. And I don't know who says it should be easy in America, but it's not easy. Um, but keep fighting. Try to try to be the one that makes it. Try to be the one person that gets over the the hump. And I'm just a kid from Kirkland, Washington. And now I'm sitting here with you guys seeing your creation, which is beautiful, almost made me cry back there. Um, it's it's a cool thing. And to see this cat, who's who's obviously a fake natty, <laughs> walking around <laughs> like it. he does, right. and me going like, like the Heath Evans, the football players, me seeing these guys in the locker room, knowing that there's... <clears throat> These athletes that eat donuts and, and pizza, and they look better than the Mr. Olympia competitors. Hi, Roger family. How's it going? Now, we love these fucking legendary tasty pastries, and love you already them. know how good they are, but I want a hot tip for you. I want to give you a hot tip. Number one. Hot, hot heat. When you eat these things, 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. All right. We talked about how it can fit any single diet because it's high protein, very low carb. 
But if you put it in the microwave for 15 seconds, my fucking God, <laughs> it will it will melt in your mouth. I highly suggest you could do this with any flavor, but if you can get your hands on the hot fudge sundae, <laughs> oh, baby, Andrew, you're the one yeah. who put me on this shit, man. Yes, seriously, you guys have to try this, but please do not microwave it for more than 15 seconds because the inside turns nuclear. But to me, this tastes like an old school chocolate donut. For some reason, when you microwave it, it completely changes the flavor and it changes it for the better. But you guys got to head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save 20% off your entire order. Again, that's at eatlegendary.com. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes let's get back to this podcast and they run and they do their hundreds then they go lift up they do mm. everything the wrong way to be a bodybuilder and they still look that way yeah there's humans are not equal sorry mm -hmm. we're not equal there's different genetics there's different things but you can make yourself better no matter what your genetic makeup and that's why i talked about bryce he's 50 now he doesn't have low testosterone it's not because of trt it's because he ate right from 30 to 50. And it's like, you're gonna be a different creature now doing what you're doing. And again, hmm. We, hmm. we got you guys walking around just looking. Hmm. I don't Superhero. know, because you're training jujitsu, right? Yeah. So you train differently now, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you roll? I roll three to five times a week. Which I is roll. not good for bodybuilding. It's That's not, what they say. It's not, <laughs> it's not great to retain that muscle, right? Yeah. That's what they say, right? Yeah. But you're set up, you're set up in such a way that, okay, you got some genetics, but you're not going to phone it in. But you look that good doing that. Imagine the kid out there that says, I just want to bodybuild. They'll get better. And it goes right back to what you keep pounding down. Just give it three months. Just give it three months to be 100%. And you create something different. Yeah, I think with him uh, doing jujitsu and, and me messing around with some running, right. I mean, there's a lot of guys that that run. There's a lot of girls that run and they still hold muscle. There's a lot of people that do jujitsu and they still hold muscle. Mm -hmm. We heard all these things over the years. We've heard that, uh, you know, at Gold's Gym, it's always a thing to like find like the best parking spot. Like those big yeah. bodybuilders, they don't want to have to walk any certain amount of feet to the to the front door. They don't want to lose their gains. <laughs> but so much, right. yeah. so much of what we've learned yeah. is... Uh, it's just not necessarily true, and it's definitely it's not right. true for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think the end, end of this, we'll talk, I'm on it, I'm not on it, whatever you want to believe. I'm cool with that. Um, but don't disrespect the legends uh, um, before me. And that's why I hate anybody to say, and please go over there right now. I'll, I'll fish hook them like you got my shirt off. Don't say Natty on my page. It's not who I am and not what I do. It's, it's the years I've been lifting. It's the stuff that I want to teach you guys. Your belief is set up by what you say. I got Lee Haney, Barry DeMay, who's another one. I got Lee Labrada and these guys, and I'm gonna go start posing with Frank Zane and Samir Banut. So I got these kind of legends that go, I love your career, I love what you did. Um, and those guys did some stuff. So when you come to my page and you're just saying, Michael Horn, this is all it is, it's like, hey, all right guys, whatever. I got the legends going, I like what you did in your message. And the message is, go to the positive side. Go to the positive side of that stuff on anything. Mm -hmm. on, 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 on being in a deficit and mm -hmm. moody and fasting. Step back, take a moment. <laughs> but again, just when, with the, the natty or not thing, take the positive. Try not to do it. But kids, don't do it. It's like, don't do it as if you're a young, young kid. Get checked and don't listen to these tabloid guys because they just give you the one side they give you the one side yep gold's gym 4 30 a.m get your ass over there train with mike o'hearn yeah and see what happens follow some of the eating protocol <clears throat> follow some of the sleeping protocol even for just, years just mm -hmm. uh well even just even just for a few months Follow some of it or in whatever the fuck town you're in yeah just wake up early go do six or seven exercises at 4.30 a.m., three or four days a week, uh, eat five or six meals every single day. Just fucking do that for a little while, and you'll be insanely shocked, like the progress that you'll make, even if somebody did that just to 60%, but you've been doing 100% for 100 years. I'm the guy that's absolutely, <laughs> yeah. and that's the truth. Yes. I got a question, though. If yes. you saw these guys' physiques in the 60s or 70s, you saw her closing in on 50, having a child, and she walks around with these arms. 
gassed. Would you not? Would you say she's a little on something? I would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean. Him? If, he was, if he's walking around <laughs> looking like this in the yeah. 60s or 70s, I'd be like, yeah. that guy's doing a little something, something. Mm -hmm. So times have changed. Nutrition has changed. You can create these kind of bodies. And we've, I just pulled up Archie Bunker. Do you know what Archie Bunker is? Yeah. You know how old he was in that show? No. I have no idea. 47. Wow. Almost yeah. when he started on that show, he was 47 years old. He looks. I know. Yeah. I know. In the oh. 60s or 70s. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. And so now we are here. You're in your 40s. She's in her late 40s. He it, like it's shit. A, there's a difference, <laughs> yeah. right? Can you pull up a picture? Look at that. He was 47? 48 when he started, 47, 48 when he first started. Also, um, he did not look healthy. What is uh, the guy? He um, wasn't healthy. The guy that always puts his hand in his pants. Um, um, Eminem? Bundy. <laughs> Al Bundy. Al Bundy. Mm -hmm. Check his age. Wow. And pull a picture of Al Bundy. And I think he now, looks reason, better now. I think he, he does jiu -jitsu. Role, You know, he's yeah. a third degree. Oh, shit. In yeah. what? In jiu-jitsu? Gr uh, Gracie jiu-jitsu. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that either. So look again. Yeah. This is another guy in his 40s in this photo. Times have changed. Nutrition has mm -hmm. changed. And he used to train at Gold's Gym when I first got there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Amazing. It's, <laughs> it, it's a different world. <laughs> you can place. eat healthier. You can be healthier. You yeah. can get sleep. We know about, you guys know about sleep, how important that is. That's something I really messed up as a kid. Mm -hmm. That three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning probably wasn't the best thing for me. But I never missed a workout. I never missed meals. So maybe in some sense, a yeah. percentage of it, it did help. But my point here is, is we're changing things. And this next generation could change it again. Yeah. So these 20-year-olds that are out there right now, mm -hmm. and I'm going to meet a 21-year-old today. Yeah, can he? Imagine him in 30 years mm -hmm. with what we're learning about how your mindset is. Yeah. Oh. Peeps, we love bringing you all this fitness information, and we also want to help bring that information to more people. So if you could help us out, hit that rep subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell, and we'll continue to bring you the heat. And I won't whisper in your ear. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.